everybody, Mike Pfeiffer with Pfeiffer Hobby Supply. Um, today I'm going to do something a little bit different because I uh, found something on the internet the other day that I uh, have a fondness for and that would be Fiat Topolino uh, gassers, dragsters. I always liked them back in the 60s and I was on there surfing, uh, just surfing model cars the other day and I happened to run across this guy. Never seen it before in my life. Uh, they have sold a few on there, but I didn't even know this kit existed. It is a die cast kit. It's by a company called Acme, which I believe later on became GMP, if you're familiar with GMP die casts. Uh, this particular one is undecorated in a kit form, as opposed to most of the GMP and I don't know about Acme in the past. But uh, it's unbuilt. Um, so I'm going to show you the contents of the box today. And hopefully at some point in time in the near future I'll get around to building it. And uh, I'll give you an update then. But let's take a look at what's in the box. Okay, so here's the kit. Uh, they generally, if you can find them, if they're on uh, eBay, generally they run somewhere between 65 and 125 dollars depending on the condition uh, this one the box is not so great but i didn't care because i plan on building it it is also acme uh part number let me see if i can get it up here where you can see it a one eight zero zero eight zero four k what significance that I has, I have no idea. Uh, I'm not real sure if this kit is totally complete. Um, simply because I can't imagine this being all there is to the instructions. Um, but possibly, because all there is is just diagrams of the frame constructed. Um, and you'll see why that's kind of a problem in a little bit here. Not a problem, but uh, this one shows what appears to be, I don't know if it's a small block or big block Chevrolet it looks like. Uh, there is a couple of engine choices in this particular kit and a couple of exhaust choices, but I would say that that's a small block Chevy. I don't know, uh, but let's take a look in the kit. But this is all there is to the instruction sheet that I got, okay? Not a big deal. Okay, we have a bag of chrome parts here. I'll pull them out for you. These are kind of like a blackened chrome. If you liken them to the, this chrome that's in the bag here, you can see that they have a blackish uh, dark tone to them. I kind of like that, actually. Um, there is a chrome engine block in here. I don't know which engine this is. I would assume that it's the Hemi since the valve covers are here. It comes with a Hemi blown Hemi engine. And you can see that we have the uh, heads here. We have an intake, an oil pan, all the miscellaneous parts here, okay? The blower, the... Um, these vents right here, I don't know if you can see those. These vents right here are valve cover vents that I think are for the small block, not for the not for this big, big block. There's no place to put them on here. But anyway, obviously, uh, if I build it with the uh, Hemi in it, which I think I'm going to, I will be painting that block. But this is one tree of parts in the blackened chrome. One piece has fallen off of there. Actually, two pieces. We have the fuel pump and we have the fuel rail along here and then the the uh, blower the blower goes under and the stack sits on top and I believe that's all in that's in that bag we have another bag of chrome this bag of chrome has some more blackened chrome I like I would say uh, blackened chrome but I don't know there's there's a stack here, or there's a intake here that appears to be hollow uh, that looks like, I'm not sure. It looks like you have a choice of a couple different ones. Because <clears throat> there's two stacks here, or two intakes here. One has the uh, flappers on it. 
the other one is strictly open. Uh, there's another set of blower parts here, or a set of blower parts. I'm trying to survey this. There's two sets of blower parts. So there's obviously two different blowers. There's some throttle linkage material here. Uh, there's a rear end housing, throttle, and one set of exhaust pipes. I think I'm, I think I'm out of the camera. Anyway, one set of exhaust pipes. I'll try and do a better job of staying in the camera. Now, we have another tree that's in this bag. And this is the chrome chrome stuff. So there's no blackness to this chrome. Uh, we have a front spring, we have a brake lever, we've got some uh, strut arms, we have a fuel tank, we have the valve covers for the, what appears to be the valve covers for the small block. We also have some more vents. So I'm not sure what we got going on here. We have a gas cap, we've got some rear end parts, uh, we have something else here that I don't know what it is. We have a distributor. Uh, several things on this tree. Uh, some of which I don't know where they're going to use. There's a seat bucket here, which I'm thinking we may have to use. Uh, but I think there's also a black seat bucket in here as well. Uh, another piece of chrome. This would be a. Uh, this one includes a belly pan. Uh, I'm not sure where this pan goes. Obviously, you have some kind of pan. And then we have an interior uh, uh, fire pan. Uh, I think you can use this or not use this. I, I intend to use this, but I'm not going to leave it chrome. Uh, now, we let me uh, take a break here and get some more stuff out of here. i got another thing of chrome, but let me uh, stop this for a moment. Okay, I'm back. I have another chrome tree in here, which includes the one and only... Well, it includes a set of wheels, okay? We have, we have the rear wheels, aluminum wheels. I'm not sure what these are. Uh, I would think they are brakes of some kind, disc brakes of some kind. We have some magnesium front wheels, and then we have the spoke front wheels. But I do believe that we only have tires for the spokes. But I will check that out as we go along. Let's go to another bag. This bag has some creamy white parts in it and it appears that this would be the small block Chevy. We've got heads and we've got the block. We have a steering wheel. We have another intake, another old school type intake as you can see here. Uh, we have an intake manifold. We have what looks like it goes on top of the blower, another in, uh, blower intake. We have a blower belt uh, drive. And I have no idea what that little piece of plastic is. So, that looks like small block Chevy parts. Now we're going to get into, I believe, the rubber parts. By the way, when you're taking any kind of plastic model, die cast, whatever it is. When you take parts out of a bag, either make sure that bag is completely empty or never get rid of the bags until the model's complete because I have been known to throw away parts uh, by not rem not realizing they were in the bag. Okay, right here it would appear that we have a blower belt. It's a smooth blower belt for some reason, but it's a blower belt. Uh, then we have a tree that has nothing but a bunch of floppy uh, rubber parts on it and these are all the this I don't know if you can see it on the camera this is a braided fuel line that would require painting once it's on the engine but I like the fact that they're flexible we have a parachute we have what appears to be fuel hoses here I'm not exactly sure what some of this stuff is right off the top of my head uh, looks like a shifter boot um, and we have basically like a, a funny car type seat and then we have a regular old school rubber seat that has holes in it for the seat belts and we'll get there in a minute we have one parachute I think I mentioned that okay so we have another bag of rubber parts by the way I didn't pay too much for this kit 
unfortunately. We have another parachute here. We have a parachute back here in rubber. And we have a really, really minimal seat here, which is nothing more than a pad. We have some more fuel hoses. Um, we have a little tiny parachute for some, some reason. I have no idea what that's all about. But uh, anyway, another seat. We, we, have, we have a whole poop load of seats. So we can make a, any kind of seat choice we want. So more fuel hoses. It looks like a... I don't know what that is. Anyway, all of our rubber parts, I won't know what they are until I get the engine built and start installing stuff on the engine. <coughs> Let me stop for a minute and I'll get the other bag out of here. Okay, our next bag of rubber is, as I said, our tires. And sure enough, let me get some chrome out here. We only have the tires for... I don't think the, those little skinny... Now, those skinny tires won't fit on those magnesium wheels. So we basically have the spoke wheels, tires, and we have some nice looking slicks with the exception of there is no lettering or anything on them. No, Not even any raised stuff. So if I wanted to put anything on there, I would have to stencil it on or something and I doubt that I'll do that because I don't want to go to the expense of buying an 18th scale uh, stencil to stencil a tire. Uh, we also have one bag that fortunately is still sealed, has the seat belt material, has the parachute material, has all the etched metal harness uh, parts. I don't know if you can see them in there. It has a screwdriver to help us put it together. It has some wire for the wiring. It also has the kingpin pins in there. Uh, I don't know. There's just some other screws that uh, I think most of the screws hold the chassis together. There are some uh, mat uh, material pieces here, and I'm not sure what they are either. I'll have to look at the car in the pictures and see if I can figure it out. Maybe look at some pictures online. And last but not least in there, we have what appears to be a water slide decal of a tachometer. I believe it would be. Uh, so, kind of a minimalistic... Uh, bunch of just screws and stuff. Uh, there's also an axle in there for the back axle. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this cover off of here and we'll take a look take a look at what's in here. And what is in here is the front axle which is die cast and chromed. And we have two rods. One of uh, both of these rods, I assume, go to the steering linkage. And we're just going to put them right back in there. Because I'm not by any means ready to have them out of there yet. And we also have another set of exhaust pipes. I really like these white painted exhaust pipes. They're very, um, very dragster looking. And I really like these. So on this Fiat, I think I'm probably going to go with these. I'll have to see what it's like when I get stuff bolted together. But uh, I really, really like these. It's hard to say until you get there, right? And here we have the chassis and body. Extremely nice die cast. Uh, painted in primer. Uh, the hood basically just lifts off. All one piece. Uh, to hold the body, oops, sorry, to be to hold the body to the frame, there's a stud here, and then screws would go up through the bottom here. That's that's apparent right off the bat. Body is all one piece as well. Nicely done, very crisp, very clean, very clean. Uh, and the chassis. Um, the axle goes in here. We have some artificial springs here. Not real springs, but cast-in springs for the back end. And we have the, the uh, stabilizer arms here. The chrome ones that I show you would apparently go here up to the front end. Uh, that's pretty evident. We would have a couple of screws that would go in these holes and hold the two halves of the chassis together. Um, one thing I wanted to see while I have you on camera let me get something out of a bag here. 
Uh, by the way, this little piece here is separate. When you split the frame in half, this piece falls out. It was in the bottom of here, and I finally figured out how it went in there. But the chassis is also very nicely done, old school, altered style. But uh, anyway, let me try something real quick while I got you on the camera. Okay, in the kit there's a chrome seat bucket. Uh, I don't... That, would, that seat would fit in there, obviously. This more square seat fits in there. Kind of like the look of that one. Not so much the first one. And then we have this, what is almost like a uh, funny car seat. And I don't think this is going to fit in here at all. So this, this part, this particular part here is got to be shared by some other kit that this engine and, and stuff goes in because this seat in no way fits this, this form here. So this one's out of the question and I like that one. But anyway, so there's obviously extra parts here for cars that uh, they share the same parts with, like some of the fuel alters. But uh, anyway, uh, that's it. That's what's in the kit. That's how it's packaged. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, review of the parts. And we'll see you whenever I finish it. I'm back real quick. Uh, this, is, this is the chassis and the body kind of loosely put together and what I'm thinking to make my diff the front end on mine here a little bit different I'm thinking about Swiss cheesing the front of this uh, grill uh, I'm gonna make a pattern I'm thinking about making a pattern in there and take it to the drill press and then just punch this all full of holes uh, to allow for some more air and cool air to get into the motor when they were going but I think it would just set the the look of it off a little more than uh, some of the ones that come pre-made so anyway Thanks for watching, guys. Okay, everybody. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing what's in the box here of the uh, Fiat Altered. And um, I hope you come back and check it out. Uh, keep an eye out uh, for when I get the thing built. And uh, come and check it out at that point. I think I'm going to have fun building it. Uh, there's a lot more parts to it than one would think, as you can see. Uh, but anyways... I appreciate you stopping in, and thanks for watching.